So FedEx was just here and uh, I got a little present. This is the HTC Vive, the pre, the one that was given to all the developers at the Vision Summit. Uh, so let's get started unboxing this. Pretty excited. I think uh, today's going to become a very unproductive day as I play with this and uh, check everything out. Okay, so inside the box we've got the HTC Vive packaging. Let's see what this is here. That looks like instruction manual. And this is some kind of wall mount, it looks like. Speaker wall, speaker wall and ceiling mount. So probably we'll pop that back there, slide this out. So of course with the Vive you need to mount the uh, lighthouses in two opposite corners to get that tracking. So that's probably for that. So I'll just put all this stuff over here. Instruction manual. Okay, so we've got one larger box here. Smaller box, maybe I should get up first. It's nicely packed in there. Okay, there we go. So we've got one larger box, which must be the headset. And a smaller box here, one of the base stations, probably. Right there. Another larger box. Ah, uh, these are the controllers. So we'll get rid of this box. And let's start by looking at the headset. Start here, website. There it is. Vive headset. So this is the pre. This is the one that's uh, right before the commercial unit. So I think it doesn't have the, they just announced a bunch of changes for the so mobile uh, phone integration, that sort of thing. Uh, so this one won't have that. I think they've updated the head strap a little bit, um, but otherwise it should be fairly similar to the commercial edition in terms of style and ergonomics. Um, I think that's, uh, that's it. Back here you can see the Fresnel lenses. And uh, from all the experiences I've had, those lenses are pretty great. The whole experience so far with the Vive has been very positive for me. So I'm pretty stoked to have one here. I've already started working on some materials. We'll do a Vive course and uh, show you guys how to develop for the Vive as well. So let's see, uh, let's see how this thing is to set up. Get it all co um, configured. So we got uh, some more parts in here. Here's the box. And we've got here the, the hub. And this looks like a bunch of parts here. There's another facial interface, some foam facial interface. That's a, a power adapter. Looks like a USB extender, USB 3, some kind of rubber or foam. Looks like an audio cable for headphones. Uh, looks like an HDMI cable. Another USB cable. And I think that's about it. Okay, so that's the headset box. 
Let's have a look at the base stations next. Okay, there's the two lighthouses. So each of them has a USB, a mini USB connector on them, um, some kind of sync cable it looks like, it looks like an audio jack but it has a sync symbol here, and then a power adapter. And then you have some connections here for your tripod on the bottom, and then there's also a tripod mount on the back. So a couple different options to connect them. So let's put those aside for now. There's a little bit more in the box here. Okay, that must be one of those sink cables. It's got an eighth inch jack on it. power adapter, and I assume that there's two of those, yep, two power adapters. Okay. Put all that aside, and let's have a look at these controllers. Okay, there they are. So they've obviously redone the design since the first edition of the Vive, and uh, quite a bit more ergonomic now. A nice close up there. So they have that haptic touchpad, just like on the Steam controller, which gives developers a lot of options for input. A trigger here, trigger on the side, and another trigger here, and some function buttons around there. And that's about it. So we've got one, two, three, four, and this is also probably a D-pad, as well as the haptic feedback, and then some input buttons. And you can see all the lighthouse tracking. Oh, I just Look, charged up already. Must have just turned it on. Uh, then there's a power here, USB, and some straps for your wrists. They are symmetric, so I guess it doesn't matter which one you've got in which hand, and completely wireless. So those are the hand controllers. A smaller box in there also. It's probably just the power cable. So yeah, there's a USB, mini USB connector. That looks like uh, a charging, uh, it's a charger, wall mounted uh, charger. with the power cable seat. So you get two chargers, so you can charge them both at the same time, and it's just USB, 
just USB charging. Same as your cell phone, so you probably already got a bunch of those chargers lying around. But you can never have too many. Okay, so that's it. So that's what we got. We got two controllers, two Lighthouse base stations, and the headset with the box, and then they've very thoughtfully included this uh, speaker wall and ceiling mount. I'll show you that too in case you are wondering what you need. If you're waiting for yours, maybe you want to get all the parts ready that you can mount everything on day one. Uh, I don't know if the commercial version comes with this too, but I assume if it's coming with the dev kit that um, it's coming also with uh, the commercial unit, but uh, don't, uh, don't take my word for it. So there's the unit here that it came with. And that comes with a whole bunch of mounting equipment. It's like an angled ball mount also. You can swap out the straight to the angle. Some drywall screws. So that's nice of them to include that. That'll really help get everything set up real quick so that we can jump in there and start playing some games and developing some experiences. So once again, here's all the parts. And all the power adapters. So that's it. So that's what you get with the Vive. And, uh, well, I'm pretty excited here, so uh, I'm going to turn off the video now and get it all set up and start playing. Like I said, I'm going to have some courses for the HTC Vive. Uh, we're going to teach you how to develop games and experiences. And, uh, yeah, this is uh, really great, so I'm pretty excited to try this out and uh, throw out my coffee table and uh, turn my living room into the holodeck. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to uh, check me out at VR Dev School and uh, look out for all the exciting stuff that's uh, going to be happening.